I'm going to tie a version of a park shrimp, uh, a blue park shrimp. I suppose it's in the colour scheme of something like a like a D sheep or well, not really an editor, but a D sheep anyway. So we have a black inner tube clear or black outer tube clear inner tube. Um, and what I'm going to do is take a strand of Mirage. And I'm going to tie that in forwards. leaving a length out here. It's going to form part of our underwing. I'll take that back to the bulge where my inner tubing is and put on a few turns of the Mirage as a butt. And the little bulge will act like a dam to stop that sliding backwards fold it back as I tie it in because this is going to form the rib and it's going to form another strand up here when I finish the rib. So uh, I'm going to use a bit of arctic fox here I'm using the very base of a tail where the fibres are sort of short and straight. I'm going to cut a little bunch out of that and then separate that and lay the other bit to the side. that in on top of our tube. So now I'm going to take a bit of yellow arctic fox and I'm choosing one that's nice and bright um, with lots of yard hair in. So what I'm going to do is remove almost all of the under fur in this bunch that I've got here. I'm just going to roll it between finger and thumb and I'm going to tie that on longer than the previous blue bunch, so maybe half as long again or maybe even twice as long depending on the shape of the fly. Now you notice I'm tying in in the middle here rather than back and you'll see why in a second. So next we're going to put a bit of flash into this tail. I'm going to use pearl crystal hair for that. I'm going to set a strand on top roughly the length of the yellow portion and then fold it back on itself. That'll make two strands in it. Trim that off at the same length as the previous one. And then we go and take another little bit of our blue bunch that we took out earlier. I'm going to lay that on top roughly same length as the lower bunch. Okay. Then pull all that backwards and down and wrap a tying thread backwards. That way I haven't ended up with a big lump down here as I tied all three things on top of each other because there's actually no tying silk in between the bunches here, it's all on top. So, for the body we're going to use uh, like a silver light bright. I'll take a bunch of that, start to spin it, one turn just to catch a few fibres. Once your fibres trapped, you can start to spin your dubbing rope much tighter. And then we'll dub a body with that silver dubbing. Just need a little bit more. And then we take our Mirage that was left there to rib with and rib along the body. Now Mirage, lovely stuff. It sort of transmits the colour of whatever's underneath it. So it looks really well over black and it also looks really well over silver. And then I'm going to trim off those two strands that are now pointing backwards. Somewhere in about half or three quarters of the length of the blue portion. Next we want a, a black wing, use a bit of fox for this or a bit of temple dog or something along the lines of that. You'll find for wings it's best if you use a fox body fur or something like that, it's much softer, easier worked with. Doesn't want to kick up as much. 
couple of turns onto that to hold it in place and then trim then take our super glue little blib into the cut ends of that there then before they dry bind them down and that'll stop our wing from pulling out Hackles, there's going to be two. First one I'm going to use is a, a blue soft hackle. And uh, it's more for an accent than anything. I'm just going to put in a couple of one, maybe two turns or so. We'll see how we get on with that. So I'm just doubling the, the hackle. Take out my tip. Two turns, tie off, flip that backwards. Now we want a couple of jungle cock feathers. Strip them at the same point. If they have splits in them, little dab of Sally Hansen hardest nails, and just pull it between finger and fourth thumb. Once it starts to get tacky, leave it alone, and the two will be glued back together. up onto the fly, pull them so they're the same length, fold back their stocks. Trim them off. To make those extra secure that they don't fall out, I'm just adding a little bit of super glue onto my tying thread. And that will allow me to wrap back up the the slope of our head. And then to finish this, we're going to go for a yellow dyed badger hackle. This is a cock feather. Strip that. Double that. Bear stock, a couple of turns across that. Hold it back. Yeah. That uh, essentially is the fly tide. We're going to put on a cone head onto that there. So on this one, I'm going to put a silver cone. Super glue down my 
thread for a little bit, a couple of inches or so, and wrap that on, and that'll create a little blob of super glue and force the head back into that. Snip it off, and that is our fly tight. We just need to flame on the cone. So take that off. Just as that dries, I'm going to pop a needle down through it. Is our blue park shrimp.